Hello everyone, welcome to our lesson for today. So it's basically all about plant cells and animal cells. Let's talk first all about these animal cells. But before that, welcome to a small terrible YouTube channel. So our lesson will be divided into two parts. First part is all about the animal cells. So I'll just flush the what I know portion with the highlighted correct answers. You may pause this video if you want to focus on the answers. Alright, so this is the what I know portion. This refers to the to your prior, prior knowledge about the topic. Now let's go deeper to the topic about animal cell. For the what's in portion, we're going to compare the different organelles to the community workers. First is the garbage collector. Say so it's the lysosome, delivery man or courier we have in the plasmic reticulum. And for the factory worker, we have the Golgi body, electrical line man, the mitochondria, and the milkman is the ribosome. Then we have the various types of cells in the human body, starting with the central nervous system. So that's the nerve cell, arteries, veins, and capillaries, the blood cell, the intestinal walls, muscle cell, testis, sperm cell, marrow, that's bone cell. And here in the what's it portion, we have the cell story. So the history of the cell started with the invention of the microscope in the 1600s. Due to the limitations of the human eye, scientists during this period concentrated on developing tools to examine very small objects. Anton van Leeuwenhoek, a Dutch naturalist and craftsman, is known to have made over 500 microscopes throughout his lifetime. His invention of the microscope paved the way for other scientists to study small organisms and their structures in their respective field. However, the term cell was first introduced in 1665 by Robert Hooke, an English physicist. Examining thin slices of cork from the bark of an oak tree with a crude compound microscope, Hooke observed empty honeycomb-like boxes, which he called cells because they resembled the box-like rooms of monks in monasteries. What he actually observed, though he was not aware of it, was the outermost covering of plant cells, now called cell wall. So we have here, the cell is the smallest basic structural and functional unit of an organism. So there are two types of multicellular organism. We have the animal cell and plant cell. By the way, when you say multicellular, it contains two or more cells in its body. So we humans... We are, we are an example of the animal cell. So let's have first this trivia time. An adult human is estimated to have at least 70 to 100 trillion cells. There are about 200 types of cells spread in four different types of tissues in the human body. These cells form the structures of the human body and act together to help its function. It is truly amazing that all these trillions of cells came from a single cell and now makes up our body. Isn't it amazing? So cells just like our skin and the cake that we eat has layers or we can also call major parts. Their existence is very important in the normal functioning of the cell in general. Starting with the cell membrane. So it's basically the outermost layer in the animal cell. So if this is the animal cell, then it's outermost young cell membrane. Then we have the cytoplasm, so it's the fluid field, okay, large fluid field. So it fills up the space between the nucleus and the cell membrane. So everything in that space, the space is called cytoplasm. Then we have the nucleus, so it's in the center, no? It regulates the cell activities, control center of the cell, so basically it's a brain of the cell all right then we have the major parts of the cell we can illustrate here very easily this is the cell membrane the cytoplasm the nucleus all right so let's go to the different organelles so these are the small structures inside the cell so let's start with this organelles found in animal cells centrosomes so so it contains a pair of pair of centrioles so 
these centrosomes replicate itself before a cell divides. Then the lysosome, small spherical organelles that contain digestive enzymes for protein, fats, and carbohydrates. So basically the trash, uh, transport the undigested material to cell membrane for removal. Then organelles found only in plants, we have the chloroplast. So contain chlorophyll which, which capture light energy that drives the process of photosynthesis. Then we have the organelles found in both animal and plant cell. So endoplasmic reticulum, this is this serves as canal for substances. So it we have the smooth without the attached ribosomes and the rough with attached ribosomes. Then the Golgi bodies, it is a set of flattened sacs that serves as the packaging on distribution center of the cell. Then the mitochondrion is the powerhouse of the cell. Then we have the ribosome, so it is made up of RNA and other protein. So for these ribosomes is for synthesizing proteins. Then we have the vesicles, the, it, this scary materials in and out of the cell. And the perosoxos, perosixomes, perosixomes. They absorb nutrients that cell has acquired. So they digest fatty acids and play a role in the digestion of alcohol, cholesterol. Then we have the chromosomes located in the nucleus and is made up of DNA. Then the nucleolus located inside the nucleus contains RNA to build protein. Then the vacuole stores food or nutrients a cell might need to survive. Yes. And we have here the what's more portion, the 11 organelles. We have the chromosomes, uh, Golgi bodies, ribosomes, uh, peroxisomes, mitochondria. We have here the centrioles, the lysosomes, the chromosomes, rough ER, the vesicles, the nucleolus, and we have the cytoskeleton. All right. This is the ribosomes, mitochondrial lysosome, endoplasmic reticulum, vesicles, peroxisomes, centrioles. Oh, I forgot this one. This is nucleolus. The nucleolus, the Golgi bodies, the cytoskeleton, the chromosomes. So they have the answers here. Then for the acronym, for the cells contains membr membrane bound organelles. Okay, i-flash i flash ko lang ito para hindi tayo maabusan ng oras. Then, for the plant cells, we'll do it in part 2. Okay. For the what I can do portion, you draw the animal cell and the plant cells. For the animal cells, so it's basically circular. Then, for the plant cells, it's basically rectangular. Just do the labeling of the different parts of its organelles. We have the rubrics here. And yes, for the assessment, what is the term used to refer to the smallest basic structural and functional unit of an organism? That is cell. Then, next, which of the basic parts of the animal cell functions like a classroom do door? So it's the cell membrane. Next, what basic part of the animal cell has similar function to the brain? Of course, that's the nucleus. Next, number four, how is the cell cytoplasm similar to the kids' rubber swimming pools? It is the largest part of the cell where organelles are embedded. Next, what is the function of the mitochondria? So it produces energy through chemical reactions. Peroxisomes are important in the digestion of alcohol. So where in the human body can you locate cells with large number of peroxisomes? So that's liver. Then we have the DNA is the genetic material of an organism and contains instructions for traits and characteristics which organelle contains the DNA. Of course, the nucleolus. That's inside the nucleus. Next, endoplasmic reticulum is responsible for movement of materials around the cell. It functions like a highway or a canal. What type of AR has attached ribosomes? So, if may attached siya, rough ER. Kung walang naka-attach na ribosomes, smooth ER yun. So for number 8, the answer is rough ER. 
Number nine, what organelle contains a fluid portion called the matrix? See, it's mitochondria. Number 10, how does lysosomes disruption affect the cell? So it will cause the cell to break. Number 11, the cell has its own fence called cell membrane to guard its parts. Is it true that nutrients and materials pass through the cell membrane and into the cell? The answer is yes, because the cell membrane is semi-permeable. Number 12, the protoplasm is an aqueous material that fills the cell cytoplasm. The mitochondria have the same material called matrix inside its surface area, but unlike protoplasm, this material is rather viscous. Why is it mitochondrial matrix viscous? So the answer is this one, two, three. It is where mitochondrial DNA is located. It, is, it contains less water than the protoplasm and it is the site for citric acid cycle in aerobic respiration. Number 13. Animals and plants have mitochondria in their cells. Is it true that animals have more mitochondria than plants? The answer is yes, because animals are always in motion than plants. Number 14. A typical human cell contains 3,000 to 5,000 mitochondria. Cells that need more energy contain more mitochondria. Which of the following cells contains more mitochondria? It's letter C, muscle cell. For number 15, which major organelle does red blood cell loses during its maturity? Letter D, ang answer, nucleus. So that ends our assessment. Let's now proceed to the additional activities. Okay. Put mitochondria. So, A ang dapat ilapat natin. Then, centrioles, ribosomes, chromosomes, endoplasmic reticulum, lysosomes, vesicles, peroxisomes, cytoskeleton, Golgi bodies, nucleus. So, the word is animal cells. So, let's now proceed to the part 2 of uh, regarding plant cells. So, what I know tayo. Okay, so we'll do it in our next video para hindi nati, hindi maputol. Okay, so see you later in our next video.